All right, we're back on the job again today. Got the Rust Queen on the job. <laughs> Working on the groundhog, the groundhog duster. <laughs> You're doing good, Queenie. <laughs> groundhog day one more time. All right, we're on the 57 Chevy. I'm gonna try to finish stripping that firewall today. I've pulled the gas tank, pulled out the body mounts, doing other things, getting ready to replace the floor pan. Decided instead of just replacing a few patch paddles in here, like right there, needed the patch panel. That one could use a little bit of work. And this one right here actually needed to be a patch panel. So we decided just to change the whole floor pan. Parts are arriving every day. This is really, really, str really strange, strange for me after so much time on these Mopars when I ordered parts for this Tri-5. One to three days later, stuff starts arriving. My friendly UPS guy has been showing up every day and just dropping off, dropping off something every day. So that's a real change for me and I'm, actually it's a pleasant, pleasant surprise. I put up a, I've put, put up a bunch of video. I haven't actually posted it because my computer is screwed up. The editing program is screwed up. The Mac is screwed up. I don't know. I can't get anything at work. I've got hours of video. Some of it I'm just going to ditch because it's so far along, so far ago, on, like on that duster right there. We'll just do one update on that later, but I don't know what the crap's going on. I hate, I want to be putting up videos regularly and I'm trying to, but I can't. So I may have to spring for new editing software and get away from these Mac computers. This is a brand new MacBook Pro. And I'm done with Mac, I can tell you that right now. All right, get some work, bring you guys back when we get some progress done. Whatever we decide to work on today. All right, this is it. This is depressing. Trying to buy parts for the 57 Chevy. Out of stock. 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 These are the big guys. Dan Chuck. And nothing in stock. Hmm. Right, I'm not sure where I left you guys on this video. <laughs> not even sure what video it is. Anyway, we're, we're still on 57. Queen is still on the Groundhog Duster. Oh, hey, I got this up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Let me show you that. Mama. It looks awesome. That lower quarter panel looks awesome. She got the flashlight and the ruler out. A little flashlight, flashlight and ruler trick to make sure it was square and straight. And she did a good job, so... Great job. I'm calling you the Bondo Queen. All right, I pulled the steering out. I couldn't adjust the play out of the box itself. It's just worn out, so I'm going to replace the steering box. Probably now I'm thinking about going back with manual. I'm trying to save a little buck or two. I'm running some problems on the 57, which a little more than I anticipated. Firewall is just about complete. Um, as far as cleaning it up goes. I cleaned up the tow board some, and they are good and solid actually. One of the few things that's on this core that's actually good and solid. I think they cut an opening big enough for a floor shifter there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what I've got decided to go ahead and change the tail pan. Um, get the weld, drag the welder over here. I've got to support it back here just a bit. Um, of course, the reason I decided to do that is. The shock mount area back here is rotten. All bent up, let's see. As you can see, and we knew that. And I anticipated by just cutting across the lower part right there and just replacing it. But on further examination, I'm finding that looks like the wheel tubs may not be in great condition. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. I know the tail panel back here and the support and all that needed to be replaced that was obvious and i found this right here which i wasn't anticipating that wheel well that bondo is thick right there i don't know what it's trying to cover what it's hiding but 
I don't like it. So anyway, the plan now is to brace this thing up um, and pull out that tail pin, which is on order and should be here. Actually, it's on the way. All right, we'll bring you guys back sooner or later. All right, if you guys don't have a, you want to cut a car in, in a half in about four minutes, get you a long john powerful air hammer, hammer and a slotted panel cutter. You can't get too close there, it won't focus. Slotted panel cutter. See what it'll do. I'm, ready, I'm getting ready to wind it down. I'll put in another shift test power hour tomorrow, maybe a power hour or two to keep up the progress on the 57. Let me show you what we found. First of all, I got most of this cut out. I gotta get against the wheel wells and cut out that floor. Somebody, there's the original trunk floor. And then somebody went to the effort to either buy or make another panel and put on top of that old floor, stuck it in there with pop rivets. <laughs> then they came back and put Bondo on top of the new floor. Thick Bondo. I don't know. You guys tell me. And when I was running that slotted panel cutter a while ago, it normally buzzes right through metal like your hair, first haircut in basic training. That one struggled a little bit. But the reason there was two layers of metal I was cutting, actually, instead of one, <coughs> excuse me, and plus a thick layer of fiberglass. So that was somebody's repair. And there's the shock mount, homemade shock mount I took out. Yeah, it looks like it worked. Pretty substantial. Anyway, we appreciate you guys going along with us today. We'll be back tomorrow. Queenie's still on the job, working on, I can't call it groundhog duster. She's getting upset with me because she's kind of gotten emotionally attached to, the, to that duster. So. We'll just go back to calling it the Queenie's Duster, Russ Queen's Duster. Um, <laughs> all right, we'll bring you guys back and get some video up whenever I can figure out what to do about a computer and a program and whatever else I need to get things going again. We appreciate you watching. Thanks. All right, back on the 57 post again today. Not sure where I left off, but I know where I've got to start. So we're going to be back into the trunk area right here. The plan this evening is to cut out all the spot welds around here and get that piece of floor pan or trunk pan out all the way around. Do the repairs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the tail pan section. I believe this is three sections. I need to support it somehow. I got the rest of it supported, but I got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. 
before I cut it out. Probably clean up the frame. I just hit with a grinder there yesterday. It cleans up real nice. I'm gonna try to get that cleaned up. And we'll work on the third axle, try to, and on the rear axle, and try to get it cleaned up too. So I've got plenty of work to do. What is it, Queenie? My job is to keep you straight. Your job is to keep me straight? Yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Keep Good you working. Fat chance of that. Keep you working. All right, Chicky. You just concentrate on my, my car. Your car. Your, my car. Your duster and all. Concentrate on the 57. You got it. All right. I see you got in some primer again. All right. We're making progress. Just not getting there fast. All right, I just cleaned, started cleaning the area around here, trying to find the spot welds. That makes them visible. And I guess I'll drill from the inside out, just go all the way through. And then when I put the new panel back in, I'll have the holes and I'll weld from the outside in. Anyway, that's the plan for now. And that's a lot of, a lot of spot welds I've got to try to uncover. Look for damage. And any rot, that's going to have to be repaired too. We'll get it on. No problem. All right, that's how you do it. A piece at a time. I found, found these in my toolbox. It's a pilot point. Don't know if you can see it. Called a pilot point. Three inch DeWalt drill bit. I think I got those from actually from Harbor Freight. Make great spot weld dr drills. Pilot point. What kind of mess is that, Queenie? It's uh. I don't know how to describe it. I do. It looks like rust. Mm -hmm. And rusty metal. It's cheese. I don't have you as a rust queen to find more rust. I want the rust to go away. <laughs> it finds me. It finds you. Yeah. It says, more rust, more rust. Save me, save me. Cut it out. <laughs> And I can, okay, okay. Chick, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. All right, let me show you what we've gotten done here. I'm kind of tired. I've cleaned up this mess two or three times underneath here. And I don't know what I've, sh what I've shown you, but we started cleaning up frame rails. I don't know what's going on here. Bondo. Thick. And I don't see any reason for it. This, whoever was working on this, their answer to everything was skim coat of Bondo, followed by a skim coat of fiberglass resin and 10 coats of paint. I don't get it. Anyway, I started stripping it back to see what we got, see what kind of damage we have. I've got some right there I've got to fix, some right here, and of course, a few of these holes to fill. Got the rear end cleaned up, sort of. And it's looking good. <laughs> it's looking better than it was. Now let me show you, show you what I'm gonna do on the back here. We're gonna have the trunk pan cut out everywhere except for where it meets the floor. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that just yet. I wanna get the floor panel first before I start cutting that. And this little section back here, and I was kind of worried about this right here because I don't want to put a bar anywhere in here and then not be able to access the trunk pan but when I'm looking and watch this I'm going to use one hand I could just lift this whole panel right off the molly mounts one hand so structurally there's not a lot of weight back there and I think I'll be okay just to cut it Cut it and let it hang. I don't know. We'll let little bro Vern look at it and see what he thinks. But I'm tempted just to cut it just to the inside of this seam. 
all the way down on both sides. Lift it up out of the way. There's three panels there, as I can tell. And dissect them, or at least dissect what's left, and get the three panels on order. All right, so it's been a hard, hard day, but we made some progress. I'm happy to be in the shop. 360 view. That's where the tail pin, the new four pan is going to meet. Actually, I may just fix that flange right across the top of there and then leave this part of the floor pan in like other people do. But I don't know. Who knows? We'll look at it when it gets here. And then, like I said, a little patching up around here. Other than that, we're good to go. See you guys on the next shift.